Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take this clothing into Unreal Engine and make it work on a MetaHuman with Chaos Clothing. I know I already have a video about that, but this is kind of like an expanded version and it has new things, so maybe it can help um, all you people that send me comments saying like this didn't work, I'm having problems. So hopefully you can find some solutions in this video too. So let's get started. Now, if you haven't watched the video on how we made this shirt, it's going to be in the description down below. All right, so before we get this out of here, we're going to select everything. We're going to go here into the uh, property editor and we're going to lo look at particle distance. You can see the particle distance is 20. That's not very dense. This is the density of your mesh. The lower the number, the higher the density the more is going to cost you performance wise when you are in real. So make sure you, you know, get, get a good balance there. I am going to do 15. And then in thickness, uh, if I recall correctly, I think I have a thickness of five. And then we just resim it. There you go. And that is pretty much it. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to go into file export and you're going to click on usd use usd you have marvelous uh there's no reason to use any of the others right now so we're going to go into usd so i'm going to call it tutorial shirt and save it and you're going to get this pop-up menu so here are some things you need to take into account uh, you're going to get the mesh out the material i mean it depends if you have a particular material or not that's fine select all patterns uh you have to have unchecked select all avatars. I believe this is unchecked by default, but just in case, make sure these two are unchecked. Um, I'm going to do multiple objects and you're going to do thick. Remember to change this to thick. Unified UV coordinates, uh, that's fine. I don't mind the things are on top of each other. You can put this a little bit better. Once you open it in the editor, it's going to look like this, not like this. So it, this is more for texturing purposes. The one that you're going to see in the white mapping um, viewport, it's going to be this one right here. So if we keep going down, uh, you can select how many, uh, however many of these you want. You don't have to do them like me. Um, this is just, I, I don't have any particular texture on this. Now, this is the important bit. You need to include garment simulation data. This is a must. If you don't check this, you're going to have problems. And then uh, remember scale, it has to be in centimeters, Das Studio, 100%. And let's go click OK. It's going to take a few seconds just exporting everything. And now we can go into Unreal. OK, here we are in Unreal. And one of the things that I recommend is that you download a MetaHuman to your project that has the um, size that you use for your simulation. So in, for instance, I used a male, tall, normal weight MetaHuman for this simulation. That means that in Unreal, I'm going to download a male, tall, normal weight MetaHuman to test this with, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm just going to right click chaos. Uh, I'm sorry, chaos, not physics, cloth asset. I'm going to call it tutorial shirt number two. Press enter and double click. And you're going to get one of these. Now, uh, just like last time, the beauty of this is things are commented pretty well, so it's very easy to use. On the first one, we're going to click here and we're going to click these. Okay, so I'm here in my uh, tutorial uh, shirt that I just exported. I'm going to click on the USD. Make sure you're clicking on the USD because uh, for some reason I, it has all files here. So I click on the USD, open it. It's going to think for a little bit and you will see it uh, popping up here on your viewport. And as you can see, uh, the 2D sim looks exactly like the 2D portion inside of Marvelous Designer. It has nothing to do with the UVs. UVs is just for texturing. Um, you can move it. If you want to, we're not going to do any of that. I just want you guys to get a functioning clothing. And then we move on to transfer skin weights. For transfer skin weights, this is why I told you to get a MetaHuman um, before so we can use it here as a source mesh. So I'm just going to click here, I'm going to type M tall. And uh, now I have M tall normal weight body. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to take a second. And there it is. Male tall normal way with no head. Pretty scary, but it works. So I'm just going to accept. Now we move on to the next one, which is the uh, advanced weight map distance. Now, 
one of the things that I was not doing correctly last time was that I was way mapping absolutely everything. This is not meant for you to sim every single point, only the points that are going to be draped. So if you have a skirt, then you will just way map it until a certain point. It's almost the same as what it used to be um, with all uh, chaos cloth. If you ever use that, I, I only use it for like flags and stuff on the floor. So you would only weight map the things that you think that be the, that will have movement. So in this case, uh, let's just do the bottom of the shirt. So if you have like a skirt or something that, you know, it's draping a lot, then that would, that's a part that you, you should, you know, paint. Okay. Right now with painting with an attribute value of one. And again, if you want to see a little bit more in depth of everything that I'm showing here, please go to my first video. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. If you are like brand new to this, cause I go in depth into most of these things. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to take out a little bit of pain from this. So I'll take it to zero, make this smaller. Oopsie. Okay. So I don't, I don't want it to go. You're going to see why I'm, I'm doing this in a second, but mainly because I want the portion that's highest to be done with the smooth brush as opposed to just black and white because otherwise it's going to be like a jarring, jarring transition. I'm just going to switch, not brush, but paint. I'm going to switch this to smooth. And there you go. You can even get closer just to make sure that we are smoothing this out. Okay, we don't we don't want that transition like from instant uh, black to white. We actually want something a little bit softer. And I may have to like retouch this once it's simulating. So we may have to come back. Um, this this is a process that, like I mentioned in the other video, it can be very simple or it can be super super complex depending on uh, what you're trying to do. Okay, so I think we are done with this. Click accept. And now we move to all the way down the line and we need a physics asset. So in the physics portion, you're also going to look for something that is resembled to the metahuman you have. So in this case, male, tall, normal weight. There you go. And there is this thing that I didn't pay attention last time where you have the collision thickness. You can change it here, but you can also use the one that comes with Marvelous, uh, the, the one that you export out of Marvelous Designer. So in this case, if you want the Marvelous Designer, you would just turn this one, uh, just click this one and it turns blue. That means it's using the Marvelous Designer parameters. So let's see. Uh, we're going to talk about LEDs in a second. I think we're good. So self collision is something that we're going to do once we do uh, another garment that's going to be a little bit more complex. For now, let's just add the, there's our shirt. Let's just add a body to this. So male, tall, normal weight. There you go. As you can see, pretty cool. Uh, these buttons last time, I didn't pay attention to them. This is to pause the simulation. And these are to reset. So if you reset it, it's going to do that every time. As you can see, every time I reset it, you can see that the part that's actually um, being simmed and everything else is skinned. So let's look for a walk cycle. Okay, there it is. And we press play. You can see that there is some movement right there. There's a little bit of harshness here. So that's why I mentioned about you know, painting things a little bit better once you have simulated, but this is pretty much the gist of it. So you can see everything is working fine. There's a little bit of clipping right there, but other than that, everything is working perfectly. All right, before we continue, let's just fix a little bit of the harshness that we had in here. I'm going to go to this part. I'm actually going to bring it a little bit lower. I think it's too high and a pain with zero. Yeah, 
get it as low as I can. I'm actually going to switch to 3D. There you go. So you can see. I'm going to pause the simulation so things are a little bit faster. And I'm just going to do some painting here. And now I'm going to smooth things out. Smaller brush. Uh, sometimes I think it's a little bit better to just paint in 3D. Kind of like Substance Painter, where it's actually better to paint on 3D. All right, let's uh, reset. Let's see how it looks. A little bit better. A little bit better. All right, another thing that you may need to look out for is the iterations and the thickness. So let's use the Marvelous Designer Thickness, 0 0.55, reset that, and let's see how it does. You see it's a little bit better with collision. It's clipping a little bit here, but that has to do with the physics acid. You need to fix the physics acid later, but I think this um, thickness is doing a little bit better than the other part. Now the other thing that we need to change that I saw was changed in the garment from the talisman um, example was the number of sub steps uh, not the iteration but the sub steps uh, this was all cranked off to the max all right so let's simulate it and as you can see it has a lot smoother motion but we need to play a lot with the thickness so we have to tell it what kind of shirt this is and let me show you one of the things that i was looking for the clipping has a lot to do with your physics asset if we go into physics as a double click, you can see that where the clipping is happening, it's right here because we don't have anything that is uh, interfering or, or that it's a collider. I'm sorry. So right here we have no collider. So that's why it's clipping right there. There are ways to fix this, uh, which are a little bit more complex than what we're doing right now. And we'll talk about that in another video. But for now, hopefully this this actually helps uh, you guys because I know a lot of people were saying that the process didn't work, the shirt didn't um, skin correctly or it wasn't simulating. Maybe some of the things that you see in this video will help out. One of the things that I actually did was uh, break this and right click and remove option pin. So that means one LED uh, less. Take a shot of this. Uh, try these new things. Let me know how it goes in the next video about chaos clothing. We're going to do a more complex garment and we're just going to fix some things related to the garment. We're going to look at self collision and all that good stuff. So uh, make sure you stay around, leave a like, leave a comment. It really goes a long way to helping the channel share the video if you can. Thanks a lot to my patrons. They're all here on screen. You can join the patron and help out the channel if you have a little bit. If not, then remember just leaving a like in the comment helps a lot too. There's a Twitter if you want to follow me there. There's a Discord if you need some questions answered and um, I'll see you in the next one.